Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pippa Jeffy. Now, if you must know, I know this game with the back of my hand. And this is going to be short videos, um, sort of. Um, I'm not going to be doing a long video, but I'm going to be boasting up the level. So, if you must know, I have a clear fire again. I've beaten everything. I haven't done other survival things yet. Um, because I'm still leveling right, up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you guys how to speed run this game on the story mode. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna do the prologue and the freaking, um, uh, I might do the prologue and chapter one in one video, and then I'm gonna do, um, the rest of the chapters in different videos. So yeah. So we're gonna go chapter by chapter, so yeah. But I'm just gonna let you know, I'm gonna explain to you guys, so this ain't gonna be a speedrun. I'm just gonna teach you how to speedrun in my honest opinion. So pretty much you skip all the cutscenes, that's rule one. <laughs> you skip all the cutscenes. I've already done a playthrough of this game multiple times. I've been trying to go faster. The record is one hour and twenty-eight minutes. My time is one thirty-five. So, if you must know, um, Naruto has a skill plate. This is my skill plate. Um, I have infinite chakra. I also have Nine Tails Naruto mode, which that will be uh, helpful in the next chapter. But that's pretty much what I have on my car on Naruto. Naruto's Taijutsu is maxed out. That's what you need to do. His Taijutsu attack is 99. And he's going to be the character that you use the most. So, yeah. I also have 99 freaking shurikens. Which I'll explain that in chapter 5. Which should be interesting. So, if you must know... You skip all the cutscenes, and pretty much so. So this first, mi the prologue and the first mission, every enemy goes down, out goes down in one fucking hit. This is New Game Plus, by the way. If you want to do a g new game, that's a di whole different territory. But see what I mean? Just punch them. Make sure that you do not pick up any of the weapons here. Because they don't have, because the weapon that I have is meat, that's part of a mission. If you pick it up, make sure you pick up the shurikens again, because they're going to be useful. Oh, See what I mean? See, that took like, that took like less than three minutes. Usually when I do a speed run, it takes me less than two. It, it, because there's so many fucking pauses. The, the, the chapter 7, 8, and 9 are going to be the ones that I'm going to explain to you what's going to go down. So, yeah. Um, chapter 10 is going to be a little I see. a lot easier. So, that's all you do. So, yeah. We're going to do the next video. We're going to do the next. So, it takes three minutes just to beat this stage. We're going to do the next stage. You don't When you do a speed run, you never save. Right. Because saving... Means that the run's dead. So I know that from speedrunning. Like I've speedrun a lot of games. Like I've speedrun a lot of Naruto games, to be honest with you. But yeah, that's what my opinion is. So you usually have cutscenes here and there. You gotta make sure you make sure you know where the cutscenes are, because if you don't, you might go to the village for no reason. This is where the this is where the kill. This is where I'm um, uh, most. This is where the speed run gets a little complex, so to speak, because I remember doing a speed run of no, no chips, no nothing, and I didn't get hit in the ninth chapter. So if you get attacked by enemies, it means that it's gonna slow down your time. But if you don't get hit, you can just go to the next thing. The best meth the best way to do it is not get hit at all. But some of them are really difficult to do. I feel like that if you hold down the X button when you're traveling to the next area, I feel like it helps, but sometimes it doesn't, so I don't know. I may be making this stuff up. These videos are gonna be short. So these guys go out with one hit. Um 
you know what I mean? You gotta make sure where the hell they spawn. There's two of them that spawn near the next to it. Once you kill this guy though, you switch to Kakashi. Why? Because Naruto uses more chakra more time to use chakra to summon his shadow clones. So you wanna use Kakashi for the shadow clones. So then you do that. So you gotta waste two freaking shurikens. Spread shurikens. Which if you wanna get more spread shurikens, just use well, just use the um video that I showed you guys when it comes to items. I'm not very good at explaining this stuff. So this guy pops up, this guy pops up, he's dead, and you switch to And then you do that. So before the end of the first freaking section, you should be able, you should have 97. Since the guys are so weak, also you wanna make sure you hit the unlock button so you don't attack these guys because these guys you don't really need to kill. When you unlock it on these guys, these guys are really Make sure, Yeah, don't do a slide attack because it does less damage. Naruto's max damage is 853. Um, if you slide, it does 33 unless you do a jump kick. If they jump at you, just fucking move to the side because that means you can attack them as much as possible. So yeah, this these two minutes. I might go until it hits ten minutes. Well, technically no, because usually I can. Yeah, I pause the game by accident. They get attacked. No, no, I get attacked. Okay, so yeah. The, the, if you ever get attacked in a map, make sure it's attacked by the next to the leaf village because the enemies are weaker there. Because the because the, it shows how good detail the game is. These guys are weak, so they only go down by one punch. So that's why I like that. Although in the beginning of the game, you automatically get hit at least once. So the next mission, you get Neji and Sakura, which. If you must know, I do have the fucking Naruto Uzumaki thingamabobber. Hopefully this makes sense. Maybe not! I don't know. But, I'm trying my best here to explain. So, you don't save. I'm going to save it every time I fucking stop the thing. And then I'm going to do a speedrun of this game after I'm done explaining every chapter. So this chapter is a all of so you so, yeah. the, the best method is to you have Naruto have to uh, make his gauge go faster so he can make mince me of the fucking boss. So yeah. I'll explain that when we get there. But you don't want to activate it as soon as the boss enters because it slows down time. And he's he has to jump into the air, so However, you want to use Naruto the whole entire way. You, of all the characters you need to use, the only characters that you need to use, in my honest opinion, is Sakura for one time. And I think Kaka and Sakura and Kakashi. Because Kakashi doesn't have the fucking Taijutsu. I mean, if Kakashi's Taijutsu is fucking max, then you should be good to go. One punch. Yeah, he does well with one punch. The map that's kind of confusing and it always kills my fucking run, which I'll get to that when we get there. And of course I get attacked again because this game's a piece of shit. So after this chapter, I'm going to stop recording and then explain the next few parts. Because the next, because this part's really fucking easy to be honest with you. Because the later in, the later chapters are the run, the the things that make your time go slower, to be honest with you. But this is just my method. Um. So here's the deal. We're gonna. We're, this is an auto scrolling, so you can't really go fast in this level. It's the only auto. It's the only level that you have to wait for the enemies to attack you and also the boss because you're on the boat right now. However, the enemies take two punches. So, if you do two punches, you 
should be fine. In my honest opinion, this is really interesting on how this game is. So, yeah. I also have infinite chakra, which makes the game a lot easier. If they kick you, you jump, and then you do a slide kick, you only have to punch them once. I've noticed that because you can't you can't keep doing this all the time because of the fact of the matter is, is that the game is fucking broken. Alright, so there's gonna be guys on the fucking what's it called? The fucking um uh roofs of these things. Now, usually when I did the speed run, I just avoided these guys. However, if you kill these guys with your shuriken, these shuriken, the weapon that I have, is broken as fuck. Like, I'm not joking. It's really broken as fuck. If you want to get more, just do the. I'll sh I I actually, I already showed off that fucking. Because I made a video of how to grind fucking virtue in this game. It's really fucking easy, actually. And you only characters that can't do this. Grind fucking, um... Virtue is... Is, um, uh... Kakashi, Gara, Konkuro, and fucking Mike Guy. Because they're not getting... Shikamaru can... The problem with Shikamaru is the fact that... He can grind for things, but since his jitsu is, um, since his jitsu is set traps, he has infinite kunai, so he can't use these things. So that's the main gist of that problem. So after this mission, we're pro I'm probably going to save it, and then I'm going to stop. Usually this takes about three to four minutes. When I do a speed run, it's always... 14 minutes maybe 15 but it's going a lot slower because I'm trying to explain stuff I'm also pausing the book, pausing it a lot um you don't need Neji um Neji's kind of useless at this point so Neji's pretty much useless at this point so you just need Naruto now if you want to go Ninetales mode quicker just use the shuriken because the shuriken makes his gauge go faster don't ask me why, it just is. Um, Nine Tails Naruto is kind of broken, sort of. He runs faster, so that's a good thing. We're just waiting. This is the problem with this mission. So you just beat the crap out of him by sucking punching. The problem with this one is the fact that if you're locked on to enemies, like if you're locked on to enemies, it automatically locks onto the enemy that jumped on the boat next. Unless you're close to the nearest one. So. Also be careful, you might you might you might accidentally hit one that's more more so sort of thing. But yeah, if you if you punch fast enough because you don't want to keep punching them. You can do a one-two hit combo. Naruto is pretty much broken. Okay, so you you see the fire gauge that's around Naruto? That's when you know that the Nine Tails mode is almost done. So yeah, um, but you just usually just do the same thing. Um, pretty much. Although the music in this stage is pretty fucking dope. I like this one. You can avoid these things easily. Make sure you don't do it over here because it will hit the fucking dog rail. You want to make sure you're near here. There we go. We got the... If you don't have the gauge, just throw one more freaking shuriken. Just to make sure because for some reason it fills up the gauge. Now, when the boss fight commence, you got to make sure not to activate it as soon as possible because if you do that then the boss will go down and then you have to wait a few minutes because 
nine tails is not a tail, so it's not a tie. So you gotta make sure you know what the hell you're doing. So yeah, this video is probably gonna be like 15 to 16 minutes. But pretty much, that's what you do in the first two chapters. It's like you're trying to go as fast as possible, but you gotta make sure you get RNG when it comes to fights on the map. The, the fucking... Alright, so this is what you do. Okay, you wait. You wanna make sure you're not next to him. You press the triangle button because you don't wanna press the circle button. Because... Because if you press the tri so triangle button, the square button the, for the original punch, Naruto will summon Shadow Clones, and those Shadow Clones will, how do I say it, the Shadow Clones will knock him down, and then you have to wait until he gets back up. And it's slow, and it's very slow. So you gotta keep that in mind, too. Will I get attacked two more times before I get to save it? But that's pretty much how you speed run the first three chapters. I mean, the prologue's easy because all you do is punch him once. Oh yeah, since since you beat the boss so quickly, Nine Tails not a tail is still available. Just be careful that just be careful you don't press the triangle button, be, the square button. Sorry, because if you press the square button, it's gonna take a lot longer. You're gonna get attacked the second time. That's interesting. If you press the square button. Shadow clones would do more damage, hit more times, and then you don't want that because they'll waste time. So just keep that in mind. And then we escort. So that's the first three chapters on how you speed run them. And to be honest with you, I think it's really good. So I hope you guys have a nice, positive day. Take care, and I'll see you in the next two chapters because I'm going to do the next two chapters by the by themselves so stay positive everyone so yeah that's how you do the first three chapters you want naruto naruto and naruto kakuro is not very useful until the very end of the game which i'll explain that when we get there so you want to have infinite chocolate if you want to speed run through this game for the first time because the if you try to speed run through this game the um how do i explain it when you go through this if you speed run the game your first time around on new game, not new game plus, because this is new game plus. If you do it on new game, you don't have infinite chakra, so you have to take think of different methods to beat other bosses. So just keep that in mind. And if it's a new game where you don't buy any chips or anything, just items to heal yourself, that's freaking brutal, I'll tell you that much. So yeah, stay positive everyone.